Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Hamming code in computer organization and architecture, digital logic design course, switching theory and logic design course, computer networks. In these courses, it is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several examinations. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about example problem on Hamming code. Before going to the example, first of all, what is Hamming code? Why Hamming code can be used? Hamming code is an error detection and error correction code. By using this Hamming code, we can identify the error position in the given message and also we have to correct that error in the given message. Hence, we can say that Hamming code is both error detection and error correction code. Now, we have to solve one example problem on this topic. Generate Hamming code for the given message 1011 is sended with even parity. At the receiver side, the message can be received as 100101. Find out the error position and correct that error position. So the given message is equal to 1011. First of all, how many number of bits present in the given message that can be denoted by M. So M is equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 bits are present in the given message. Next, how many number of parity bits that can be appended to the given message can be calculated by using the following formula. That formula is 2 power p greater than or equal to m plus p plus 1. Where m is nothing but number of message bits. So, that is m value already we know that is 4, 4 plus p plus 1. Where p is number of parity bits. How many number of parity bits we have to use for satisfying this condition. So, let us assume p value is equal to 3. So, 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1. So, that is equal to 8 greater than or equal to 8. So, condition true. So, whenever the condition is true, here p value is equal to 3. So, therefore, number of parity bits is equal to 3. Okay. Message bits is 4 and parity bits is 3. So, therefore, total number of bits total number of bits is equal to m plus p. So, that is equal to 4 plus that is equal to 7 bits. So, 7 bits are present in the message that are received at the receiver. Now, that 7 bits can be written in this form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, these 7 bits can be written from LSB to MSB. That is right hand side to left hand side. So, these are the 7 bits. Next, where the location of the parity bits? The parity bits are always located at 2 powers positions. So, 1 can be written as 2 power 0, 2 can be written as 2 power 1, 4 can be written as 2 power 2. So, the corresponding parity bit is P1, the corresponding parity bit is P2 and the corresponding parity bit is P4. 
Once we have located the parity bits at the two powers positions, the remaining positions can be, the remaining bits can be filled with the message bits. The message bits are, so this is M1, M2, M3 and this is M4. Okay, we know the message bits values. So that is M4 value is 1, M3 value is 0, M2 value is 1 and M1 value is 1. So this is M1 bit, M2 bit, M3 bit, M4 bit. We have to given the uh, indexing from right to left. So M1, M2, M3, M4. Once we are locating the message bits, now we have to calculate the parity bits. Okay, so these are the parity bits. Now we have to find out the parity bit value. Okay, now so for each bit can be represented in the binary form. So one can be written as 0, 0, 1. In 3 bit binary we have to take. Okay, because 3 parity bits are uh, there so that we have to use 3 bit. 1 to 7. Okay, 1 to 7 means so 2 power approximately 2 power 3 so that we have to use each bit can be represented in 3 bit binary form. Next 2 can be written as 0, 1, 0. 3 can be written as 0, 1, 1. 4 can be written as 1, 0, 0. 5 can be written as 1, 0, 1. 6 can be written as 1, 1, 0. 7 can be written as 1, 1, 1. Okay. Once we are writing 3 bit binary form of each bit, now we have to calculate first P1. For calculating the P1 value, we have to consider the last column. We have to consider the last column in that column where the ones are present. One is present at this position and this position and this position and this one. Okay. Now we have to calculate P1 so that this one is not considered because we are calculating P1 so that this one is not considered, the remaining ones are considered. Here one is considered at 3, exclusive R. One is considered at 5, exclusive R. One is considered at 7. Okay, next. At 3, what is the message bit value? So at 3, message bit value is 1, exclusive R. At 5, what is the message bit value? 1. At 7, what is the message bit value? 1. So now, 1 exclusive R1. So that is 0. 0 exclusive R1. So that is 1. Here, without using exclusive R operation, we can also told another way. That is, how many number of ones are there? three ones are there. To become the even parity, what is the extra bit we have to add? So that is one. Three ones is odd number. We are adding another one as parity bit. Then the four ones becomes the even parity. So this is also used for finding out the parity bit. Next, next we have to calculate P2. For calculating P2, we have to consider second column. In that second column, where the ones are present. So, ones are present at second position, third position, sixth position and seventh position. Now, we are calculating P2. Therefore, this one is not considered. So, one is considered at third one. 1 is considered at 6th one, 1 is considered at 7th one. 
So what is the message bit value at third? One exclusive R. What is the message bit value at six? Zero. What is the message bit value at seven? One. So one zero one. It is already in event parity, so that we have to append zero as the parity bit. Another way, one exclusive R zero. That is one. One exclusive R one. That is the zero. Next. Next, we have to calculate the parity bit value P4. For calculating the P4 parity bit value, we have to consider last column. Okay. In the last column where the ones are present, one is present at 4, 5, 6, 7. We are calculating P4. Therefore, this one is not considered. Next one, one is at 5, one is at 6. One is at seven. Okay. What is the bit value at five? One. What is the bit value at six? Zero. What is the bit value at seven? One. How many number of ones are present? Two ones are present. Already two ones means two. Two means it is even parity. The message is also sent with even parity. Therefore, the extra parity bit can be appended is 0. Now, another way, 1 exclusive or 0, that is 1. 1 exclusive or 1, that is 0. Okay. So, now P1, P2, P4 parity bits values are already calculated. Now, the actual message. Actual message means the message bits plus parity bits the message bits plus parity bits okay so that are this one m4 m3 m2 p4 m1 p2 p1 these are the seven bits what is m4 value one what is m3 value zero what is m2 value one what is P4 value? 0. What is M1 value? 1. What is P2 value? 0. What is P1 value? 1. So this is the message that we are received at the receiver after calculating the parity bit values. Okay. Now, what is the received message or received actually? So that is received message in the given problem as the received message in the given problem as 1000101 1000101 now at which position the error is occurred for that purpose we have to compare actual message with received message bit by bit now First position both are equal, second position both are equal, third position both are equal, fourth position both are equal, fifth position is different, sixth position is same and seventh position is same. Now after comparing the actual message with received message, so fifth position is different. Here position value can be calculated from LSB side to MSB side. So, therefore, error occurred at fifth position. Error occurred at fifth position. Now, how to correct that error? Okay. Now, we have to write after correcting the error, after correcting the error, The received message is the received message is at fifth position whatever the bit is there in the received message that can be complemented. So now one zero here this bit value at this position error is occurred so that we have to complement that bit. Zero can be complemented one. Now, 0, 1, 0, 1. 
after correcting what is the received message 1010101 okay now check the parity how many number of ones are present four ones are present so that four is even number so the message is received also with even parity okay so this is the procedure we have to follow for finding out the error position by using hamming code and how to correct that error okay so i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel rigdala srinivas rao so please uh, refer the previous video i already told another example problem on the hamming code don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all for watching this video